My husband and I were so excited at the beginning of this year. We were going to be first time parents. We waited so long and patiently for this moment in our lives. We had it all planned out since day one of our relationship. If you've been following the journey, then you already know. On January 18, 2021, I found out we were four and a half weeks pregnant and I planned to tell my husband on February 18th, which was our 13th year anniversary. But of course, I couldn't hold off that long because every day since I found out, my husband kept saying, y'all not gonna get pregnant. So finally, the next day while he was out playing some rec football with his friends, I set up a baby announcement for him. Some of you guys have seen it and some of you guys haven't. Then on February 7th, we told his parents. Nine days after that, I drove myself to St. Pete General Hospital from work. Let's just say there was a lot of blood and I just knew I'd lost our baby. But baby was still there. I was put on bed rest until further notice. Then six days after that, I gave birth to our nine-week-old baby. I've learned so much from then to now. My husband and our relationship is even stronger than before. I finally got to see a side of him i never seen before out of all 13 years. Let's just say I finally got to be strong for him. Every day since then, I have to remind him that after every storm, there is a rainbow and that we had no control and that it will happen again when God knows that we both are ready. October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month and I felt as though I needed to speak out. Watching so many other strong women and couples speak on this help me heal and I hope I can do the same for others. I just want you all to know that you are strong and that you will get through this storm and any other storm. Also to my TikTok family, thank you all from the bottom of my hearts. All 2,000 plus comments were noticed. I just cannot keep up. But I do want you all to know that my husband, my in-laws, and myself laughed, cried, and smiled at them all. And yes, my husband was excited to be a father. He was just as shocked as his mom. And yes, mom's doing fine and pop's still praying for us. Even though baby Singleton never got to physically be with our family, he or she will always live through us and forever be in our hearts. If anyone needs someone to talk to, my DMs are always open. Thank you all for listening. My name is Yonka Singleton and I am wonderful.